All right, cheeky chappies, let's go ahead and get back on with our scrub marine. So, in the last video, we actually fixed this thing in my bobby right here, so it doesn't annoy me on the intros anymore, which is fantastic. If we have a little look on the inside, we obviously changed this bottom window, and we implemented a system so that we can actually uh, sink and raise our scrub marine, which is this thing right here. Now, the problem is that these pumps are actually fine, however, the inlets slash outlets are rubbish. So we need to change these things on the bottom, and we also probably need to change these ones as well. So that's what we're going to be getting on with today. Let's go ahead and do it, shall we? Hey! I did actually say that I was going to do this in the previous video, but I decided that I guess I would show you guys the difference. Basically, it wasn't going too fast when we had these normal ones. But if we change these into proper ones, which I believe these are like this big? How big are these? They are... Uh, how do they even attach? Hold on, let me have a little look at this. Uh, they do attach by that little point there. Alright, cool. So if we delete this and, and we delete these. There we go. Is it that big? Yeah, it is. Alright, cool. So it's massive. That's cool. Alright, good. We need to delete these. And we need to make sure we've got enough room, which I believe they're all just going to attach directly to each other. Which is lucky, but uh, yeah, there you go. So we're going to delete all of these. Fantastic. We're then going to put in this, this, and this. And that is beautiful right there. They are obviously different um, widths because um, the, the pumps are different. But other than that, we are good to go. Now, just to see if that changed anything, let's jump back inside and we'll see if it fills up quicker than it was before. Okay, so it was filling up quite quickly before. However, I want it to sit, like, I want the dial to just go around crazy fast. Uh, so let's just jump down here. We'll go all the way through. And this time as well, when we go under the water, we don't have any holes. Um, oh, we're going to have to check, see if we have any holes. But yeah, there we go. Bam, we're already at 1,000. 2,000. Yeah, this isn't going to take very long at all to put us down. So let's see. Did I leave that open? I did. But I think the dock right here is actually low enough that that stays out of the water, so we might not get a leak. Uh, and that would be fantastic. Anyway, um, we're going to check where the water level is right now. And it is just up to this line right here on the first window. So I'll go back to this in a second and we'll see if that changes. Okay, so it definitely is filling up way quicker than it was before. However, I still feel like we need more pumps. Or we should try and add more inlets per pump. Now, we'll see how that works. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we could put some sort of meter on this and we'll see how much is coming through and then we'll change it and then we'll see how much is coming through afterwards. That's probably a good idea. So we'll do that per engine or for one engine. We'll do, well, one motor, one pump. That's what I meant. We'll change it for one pump and we'll see if it changes anything at all. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and change that. Let's jump into this. We also need to change the time of day because I can't be bothered with it changing. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is delete one of the intakes. I believe this is, is this the intake? No, that's the out. That's the out outlet. Uh, and that takes it down. So we actually need to use one of these, uh, which is the inlet on this side. The air, the, the inlet is on this side, so that's good. Uh, what we need to do, I guess, is do this. I, I, I'm sure it, it's probably something like this. And then if we go to like meter, we should be able to get like a fluid meet? No. No, oh, is there any way of checking this? I'm not entirely sure. There has to be, right? Like a valve? Valve. Uh, variable valve. Variable valve controls the flow from one side to another. No, is there a way of seeing? Flow valve. Is that right? Uh, a one-way valve for controlling fluid flow. Allows fluid to move from one to the other side. Okay, right. Well, I believe this is probably what we need. So if we delete this... And we put a normal pipe back in there. Here we go. I'm learning at the same time as you guys, if you guys already don't know what you're doing. But you probably do. Anyway, we're going to delete this and this. And we're going to put one of these in. Alright, does this have an in and out? I reckon it probably doesn't, but we'll see. There we go. That one's in. Oh, yeah, it does. Alright, cool. Turn that around. Turn that big boy around. There we go. Beautiful. Then we need this. Oh, wait. No. Now I'm confused. Now I am very confused. This doesn't have a this doesn't have any data. Why would you use one of these? Uh allows for it to move from one Oh I see. Alright, cool. Okay, I see. I see how it is. Um Right, okay. How do I how do I test out the flow? I wanna test out the flow. 
Hmm. A fluid filter? No. 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 Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to make this better. Um... I'm gonna send someone a message and we'll see. Okay, so no one is here to answer my question. We don't actually need this thing anymore, so we'll put the pipes back in. And actually, instead of doing that, we're gonna go ahead and add a T-section on the bottom piece. Alright, cool. Bo cool, cool. And what we're gonna do... Are we upside down? Yeah, we are. Um, we're gonna get some T-sections. So T-pipe. T-pipe. There we go. We need some of these. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach them to this one. Okay, we're gonna make it go sideways. That's fine sideways as well. Come on sideways and sideways as well. There we go. Beautiful. That's awesome sauce right there If we go ahead and we delete this big area right here I believe that's how big it needs to be. All right, cool We also need to bring it all the way back to here. So that's all good. We'll then flip this thing around and we should be good to go Yeah, beautiful. There we go. All of those should be okay. Then we need the other pipes, so we need an angled pipe to be able to attach it to everything. And if we can use these, that would be amazing. Of course, there we go, one, two, and three. And then we need to attach them all via one of these pipes. And I would imagine that this will be way quicker. However, I don't know whether they can actually um, pump that much water through them. Um, and also, if I don't change these, does it even affect it at all? Is my next question. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see. If we delete like three of these, we should be good to go. And we delete three here as well. We should be able to put these on there. Yeah, and spin them around. There we go. So that'll like provide the outlet and that should be good to go. All right, do it on all of these. All right, fantastic. Now let's see what happens. Let's just see if it pumps in way quicker than it pumped out last time. Uh, we also don't have any lights on board, so we're going to put this like this. And we're going to jump back on board. Yeah. Beautiful. There we go. Cool. Whee. All right. Awesome. Now, I do see a little bit of a problem with this. And the problem is that we are only pumping water into one side, um, which will probably make us fall over. Uh, a few of you guys were saying put some weight on the bottom. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Down. Up. Have I changed something that I shouldn't have? I don't know whether I have or not. I'm I'm really confused, actually. Let's have a little look at this. Have we got power? We do have some power. We do have some power. All right, okay. Uh, so what else could be the problem? I don't know. Can we actually, like, pump in through these things? I would assume that we can. And then we should be able to pump out through them as well. So I, I'm assuming that it's all working A-OK. -okay. Uh, just to check it real quick, we'll do delete one of these. Actually, we'll delete two of these. There we go. And we'll spawn it in and we'll see what happens. All right. So with those things deleted, we should be able to do something with it, hopefully, if I can get on board. Now, this is obviously one of the problems. And the fact that we found it is really good. However, you can actually get on if you really, really try. Anyway, jump inside. Go ahead and close this thing in my bobby right here. Open this door. Run all the way through here and turn it on. And we'll see if it actually does it this time. Down. Yeah, it's not changing. It's not actually changing. Also, the capacity seems to have gone down quite a bit. Now, I guess that's because it was actually filling up this area uh, on the inside. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Um, maybe it's the outlet, I guess, possibly. Let's attach these back together. Okay, we'll attach all of these back on. And we'll use the other outlet. I, I don't know whether these things work as an outlet. Um, port. Used to allow fluid in and out of a fluid system. Place the port inside of an enclosed volume to connect the volume. To, to wait, to connect that, to connect to that volume. Or outside of the vehicle to connect to the ocean. So this is it here on the floor. That's outside to connect to the ocean. This is inside to connect to the volume. So there shouldn't be a problem. I, I don't think there should be a problem. I, yeah, I don't see a problem with this at all. Um, all right, delete these for now. And we'll put the small ones in and we'll see if that changes anything. Fluid, we need one of these. And we need it quickly on all of these pieces right here. There we go, beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. 
And close all those pieces up. There we go. Nicely done. Awesome. All right, cool. Spawn it in, run over, and go downstairs again. All right, let's see if it works this time. Bam! Yeah, it does. All right, cool. So apparently those don't work as outputs, but they work as inputs. So that's interesting to see, actually. That is very interesting to see. So what we might have to do is we might have to just attach... I don't know. We might have to attach it to more fluid ports than uh, necessary because I guess it doesn't work as an outlet. That's really strange. Okay, I'm going to try something here. We're going to delete all of these pieces and we're going to add an extra pipe. Now, this is going to be a little bit annoying, but we're going to have to do it. So let's add an extra pipe. We'll have an enclosed one and it should be good. Enclosed straight. There we go. Go ahead and attach it right there. Go ahead and close off the rest of these and it should be good. All right, do that on all of them and we should be fine. Go ahead and put that on there properly and that on there properly. And then this can go on all of these pieces. A-okay, I think. A-okay, I think. Unless it has to be like facing downwards, which I don't see why it would. Uh, but let's see if it works this time. All right, so we're running back over. This is getting really annoying having to go in and out just because the fluid port doesn't work properly. Um, I, I guess we could just use the, a few of the smaller ones if we need to, but that's not something that I really want to do. So yeah, if we can, if we can get away from that, that would be good. Down, yeah, definitely doesn't, it's just the output that isn't working. So I've got a way to fix this, at least a little bit. Um, let's just go for it. Okay, so it involves deleting this and this and this and also putting in one of these or maybe even two of these or something, I don't know, something like this and then something like this, that'll do. Something like this and this, uh, no wait, wait, turn them around. Turn them around like this, yeah that's good, and like this and then put one of these on the sides and one of these on the sides and then we'll just put a bunch of these on. So one, two and Oh, we can't put them next to each other like that. That's really annoying. Uh, angle. Angled pipe would be amazing. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. And we'll at least make it point some direction. That would be great. There we go. Make it point this way. That's fine. Same with you. Turn you around. There we go. Beautiful. And you as well. All right, cool. Attach all of these on. One, two, three, and four. And we'll also do these sides as well. One, two, and three. All right, cool. We need to see if this works. Um, and hopefully it should work a little bit quicker than normal. Okay, three, two, one, go! Bam! Yeah, look at how fast that thing's going around. That is insane. All right, cool. I think we will end up sinking this thing. And that is fan dabby dozy. So I'm going to wait here and see if it goes under. And if it does go under, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, of course, we do probably want it to sink a little bit quicker than normal. So maybe we'll put an, an opening door on it. Um, that would maybe be uh, quite useful to fill it up quicker. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Is that a good idea or is it a bad idea? I'm not entirely sure. Um, one thing that I do want to check though is I need to sit in the seats real quick. And I want to have a look inside to see if they're all pumping out. Which indeed it looks like they are. That's pretty good. Alright, cool. Good. Okay, so we are actually at the bottom of the ocean now, which is fan dabby dozy You can actually see that the conning tower, which is that thing right there, is actually out of the water at the very top. So, um, yeah, we've got a long way to go from the bottom to the top. So, it's a good idea to test out the lifeboats when they're underwater. I don't know how many times these things have been tested underwater, but I would imagine not very many times. So, let's go ahead and deploy. Let's see how this works. There we go, and wham! There we go, awesome. Now, I don't know if we have a little look. Let's go back outside. Whether the rest of it is sinking or not, if that makes any sense at all. Also, how do I get out of this? There we go. I don't know whether the door closes, which it looks like it does. So I would assume that there is no water on the inside. Let's go in there and have a little look. Because that is something that I was a little bit worried about. And yeah, it closes the door. Let's go ahead and test out the other one as well, because we might as well. And um, it's actually a pretty cool thing to do. I like it. Pump, beacon light, and parachute. We don't need a parachute right now, but that is really cool. That is really, really cool. Uh, both lifeboats work. It's just awesome. Anyway, light. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get out because we don't want to be in anymore. Please let me out. There we go. Beautiful. Open up the hatch and just jump outside, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. We are now outside of the lifeboats and we are bobbing around. They are actually really cool. So they work. That's awesome. The flooding actually works. We just need more pumps so that it, it works a little bit more efficiently. And other than that, I think we're doing all right. So what I uh, suggest we do is I copy and paste at least one of these backwards. And that will increase the rate of like uh, going down and the rate of going up. 
And I think that will be quite good to do. So let's go ahead and attempt to uh, copy and paste one of those. Okay, so we are in the copy mode. We're bringing this all the way back. We're going to try and copy uh, the furthest most backest. The furthest mostest backest. Um, yeah, all right, cool. We're going to have to try and copy everything. So let's go this way, this way, this way, and up. Here we go. Beautiful. Bring it this way as well. So we at least copy the pump because that is something that we need to do. And... Yeah, that's awesome. That is literally all we need to do right there. Except from if we go over one, we are even better. All right, cool. Copy and paste this over one, and we should be good to go. All right, copy. There we go. Move it over, and press paste. Whenever this thing in my bobby, this little thing right there, is going into that one, which is right there. All right, if we paste that there, that's good. If we move it backwards one, can I also paste another one? Uh, looks like we probably can. Um, oh, there's a problem. Oh, there's a problem. Hold on. Uh, what is the problem? It's that it's not going out the bottom. It, it's, it, the one that we just pasted is this one. Wait. But this one has a bottom piece. I am very, very, very confused. All right, paste it, whatever. All right, cool. We can sort of fix it from there. That's okay. Uh, so if we go ahead and we merge them all together, we'll merge this one with this one and then this one with there. We should be able to fix this up. So we need to put that there. We need to put that there. Beautiful. And then we obviously need the, the floor doing as well. So we'll have to delete a whole bunch of floor to be able to do this. There we go. Go from there. Uh, inwards quite a lot. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll go to about there. That's fine. Then we need to attach to some of these. Attach to some of these. Put that there. Beautiful. Put that one there. We need the same thing doing on this side as well. So we need to... Delete another row of this. There we go. Beautifully done. And we need to do the rest of this as well. So flip these over. Spin it around. Put it on there. Awesome sauce. We also then need to do this. So that we can actually connect to these things. There we go. There we go. And this one as well, please. Uh Oh, no. That didn't work. Uh, Like that. There we go. Beautiful. And we need to put this. Spin it around. And the same here. That there. That there. Awesome. And we need a straight pipe, which we might as well just use these. It takes up the same amount of space as the other ones, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, but there we go. All right, that's all awesome. That is indeed in place, so that's all good. We do need to attach them, so we need to put that one on there. Put that one on there. Beautiful. And they probably need electricity, which indeed they do. All right, cool. Now, that should allow us to sink at least a little bit quicker, uh, which would be fantastic. I'm also thinking that we should have some of those somewhere dotted around in the front. Maybe one of these rooms could have pumps in, something like that, um, would be decent. In fact, actually, we should put a pump here and one on the other side as well, like close to the door. Uh, so if we go ahead and we grab it, hold on, let's go ahead and grab this thing in my bobby, bring it all the way back to the front, and we should be able to put it in. Should be able to put it in, like, right there. If we go ahead and paste that, is, does that look okay? Yeah, I guess it does. Merge that there, beautiful. We can delete this one, this one, and this one, and put in one of these. And we can delete most of the floor pieces like this and this. Did I do that over here? I don't know. I don't know what I did over there, but that's okay. All right, cool. So now that we got this in, we can go ahead and do the floor thing in Bobby. So we need to delete this and this and that. There we go. Beautiful. Flip this upside down. There we go. Spin it around and attach it directly to it. There we go. Awesome. Then on here, we just need to put one of those and we need to attach that to the down, to the down button. Attach that to the electricity, and attach this to the down button. I think that will help us, at least a little bit. We should be able to sink basically at twice the rate, uh, is my assumption, because we got twice the amount of pumps. Uh, so there you go. Let's run all the way inside. Hopefully this one isn't that visible. Maybe not visible, but we could probably hide one on the other side as well. Um, it's what I'm trying to say. Let's go down here, go open up the door. Yeah, we can hide another one of those somewhere in this corner, and it would be completely fine. Uh, you wouldn't even know it was there. All right, cool. Run this way. Fantastic. Run all the way to the back. Go ahead and push the button. Down. And look at how fast that thing is going around. That is insane. That is definitely twice as fast. And hopefully that means we'll sink relatively quickly. Now, of course, we will have the power of the engines being able to push us down as well. So we won't have that much problem of, with submerging, I don't think. Uh, but that will be in the next video. So if you guys want to see me power this thing... Be sure to watch the next video. Also, if you've never seen me building before or anything like this, 
then maybe go back and watch my tanker series. That tanker series was actually pretty cool. And uh, I'll make a playlist for it on YouTube because uh, at the minute it's just in my Stormworks one. Alrighty, so I was going to end that video there. However, I've just read a comment on another video and um, someone suggested putting another pod on the back. Uh, meaning, if we have a little look at this thing, if we have a look in the back of the conning tower, we could probably remove some of this right here or extend it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll extend the conning tower backwards so that we can have a proper staircase downstairs. That'll make sense. And then we can have an escape pod on the top, which is actually seemingly a really good idea. Um, I was thinking about this earlier, actually. And the reason I think it's such a good idea is because, 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 um, uh, we don't actually have enough room inside of the the pods that we've got so far. We don't, we don't have enough room inside of them to actually save everybody. So that is obviously a problem. And uh, yeah, we, it needs fixing. So let's go ahead and save this as it is, like so. There we go, without a back on the conning tower. We're then going to go ahead and load up the workshop thingamabobby, wherever it may be. I hate trying to find this thing. I wish I could just type in what it is and I would be able to find it. But um, yeah, I don't know where it is. Where are you? Where are you? I, I, yeah, genuinely uh, don't actually know how far down this list it is. So... We have a pro there it is. All right, found it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this entire thing. So we need to do this, and we need to make sure that we turn it around before that we before we put it on our boat because obviously uh, it would be a bit of an issue if we didn't. So there we go, beautiful. Go ahead and go up all the way, and go ahead and go down all the way as well. Beautiful. That is awesome. Right, cool. Go ahead and cut this thing. That's good. Go ahead and load up our previous vehicle, which is this one. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the back of the conning tower. Now, hopefully it fits. It is a bit big. <laughs> it is actually really big. And I didn't realize it was so big. Uh, however, is it going to fit? Probably. Yes. Our conning tower might need to be a little bit wider. But other than that, I think we're good to go. Let's just go ahead and paste it. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Lower it down to one as well. No, actually, we'll leave it there. Paste it in. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and merge it together. That to there. Awesome sauce. And yeah, we've got a bit of an issue. Let's go ahead and try and attach this a little bit nicer. So we'll delete most of the conning tower. There we go. We'll delete this. And we'll make it wider from the front. Yep. Beautiful. In fact, actually, we should be doing this on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, cool. Uh, in fact, did I even make sure it was in the middle? Three on this side and three on this side. Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Delete most of this. There we go. Delete all of that. Beautiful. Delete most of this as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to go on this side. We're going to go like this. And we're going to do this. We're going to make it come out at least twice. There we go. Beautiful. And that should connect us up to there, which is actually kind of awesome. I like that. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, maybe it should come out one more, actually. Yeah, let's, let's make it come out one more so that we can sort of make it go together sturdily. And that would be great. Uh, the problem with adding this, though, and there is a little bit of a problem, um, is that the buoyancy is going to be off even more now that we've added something else to the top. Uh, we're going to have to add quite a lot of weight to the bottom to can cancel this out, uh, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but uh, whatever. That's fine. All right, cool. Go ahead and do this, and we'll attach that together. Go ahead and delete these two, three. There we go. And basically all we're going to do is we're going to make it go to a, maybe not a point, but we're going to try and get rid of some of these edges and make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. Beautiful. We'll come back. No, wait, 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 wait. We need to make sure it's right. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. Go backwards a tiny bit. And then we're going to add another one of these. And basically, this is going to be the last one. There we go. We'll add that there. We'll add another one. We'll add another one. And we'll attach it all together. Beautiful. Right there. Awesome. That's really good. Then we're going to attach them all together, obviously, and we're going to close it off. There we go. Nice. Kind of feel like having a bigger one on the top would be bit better anyway, and it makes it look more space-like, which is, of course, kind of what we're going for anyway. So there you go. Delete that. Delete all of this. Oh, we might have a problem with that. All right. That's okay. There we go. And we need to go get the proper shapes again. So we need this, and we also need this, probably, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Put that there. Beautiful. Put this here as well. Beautiful. And attach it together via this thing. Awesome sauce. There we go. We then need to change this. So we need to paint. We need to go like this. And we need to swap that with white. So boop. Boop. 
There we go. Awesome. There we go. Beautifully done. So now we've got no stairs. Oh, ladders. That's what I meant to say. Got no ladders. So go ahead and put some ladders on here. That will be great. Ladder. And then we need to make sure it works. So that is something that we're going to do. Uh, and in case you guys are wondering how I'm going to sink it so quickly, basically all you need to do is... Let's go ahead and attach it up real quick. Um, in fact, it doesn't need attaching at all, I don't think. So that's okay. Uh, but all we need to do is we need to go into the select tool. Go down to here somewhere. There it is right there. And go ahead and fill it full of water. And you guys will see what happens. Three, two, one. Splash down. There you go. Um, so obviously it's below the water a little bit. We need to sort this little area out. And then we're good to go. All right, cool. Jump on top. Go ahead and open up the door. Jump inside. Close it up. Awesome. Jump across there. We can probably get inside, which indeed we can. And if we launch it, which have a look on the outside, we are underwater currently. Press launch. Doors close. Doors pop off the front. And kapowie. Yeah. Why did the music just start? All right. My outro music just started playing. Not entirely sure why, but there you go. You can sort of see the system there. We've added an extra uh, getaway mistake thing of Bobby. Uh, escape pod. Not mistake. Not mistake pod. An escape pod. And uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we've got three of these things on our boat now. We might have to thank um, White Noise quite a bit for this because he's, you know, he's, he's, he's sort of helped out quite a lot without even seeing the submarine. Unless he's watched the video, of course. But there you go. Uh, so that's pretty cool. In the next video, we're going to work on adding some engines, some propulsion to this thing. We'll probably end up adding some sort of side propellers, maybe here somewhere, so that we can go like sideways or spin on a spot, something like that. And yeah, I feel like it's going to work quite well. Also, that little box on the back doesn't even look that bad. I don't think it looks that bad at all. And then, in fact, I feel like it might look all right. Anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.